Hmm. Let me try and recant what on earth happened last night. Here's how you know you're staying in a real classy hotel. When you walk in the room and they've got a putter, a golf ball, and a little practice tee in your room. <laughs> This was the throne seat for the kings of Munster from like the 4th century to like 1100. They gave it to the Catholic Church. They did a whole lot of renovations to it, like adding cathedrals and things. One of these things is not quite like the other. See if you can guess what it is. So you think about the craftsmanship that, that's required to build something like that. I don't think that we have the craftsmanship and the, the engineering talents to build something like this anymore. We don't really see cathedrals in this style of this nature being built anymore. I think we've literally just forgotten how to do it. So whenever you see these little slits in the side of a castle, those are basically your archer slits. That's where your archer's sitting. He's got this field of range of up and down so it can adjust his trajectory to hit a target far away or hit a target very, very close by. It also makes him very, very hard to hit himself. It's very, very hard for another archer, opposing archer, to get an arrow through that very, very tiny, narrow target. One of the things you'll probably notice is that all the land surrounding this castle incredibly flat. Well, this thing's on a giant hill, right? Very easy to defend this position if you're, you know, an archer waiting up there on the parapet, an archer in the castle, whatever. How are you going to get up here? Well, you've got to, to trek across open land. You can see you coming from miles away. Then you got to make your way up the hill, which is deliberately made more and more steep. Hmm. Let me try and recant what on earth happened last night. We've ended up in the beautiful, beautiful city of Killarney and it's Friday night. Well, last night was a Friday night. We decided we wanted to look for a bit of crack and so we thought, we know what, the best thing we can find is a pub with a live musician. And on that nest there was an egg, a rare egg, a rattler egg. egg. Would you like in the nest and the best from the bank, the bank from the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole and the bar and the bar. By the end of the night, I got uh, barred from requesting any more songs. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're cut off, man. That's it, you're done. That's it, you have no more requests. That's it, you're done. So I've been barred from requesting songs, and I'm trying to get a, a light, lovely Irish lady to request songs. You have to give him something he likes. Because I'm barred. I can't request songs anymore. Abba, Abba. No, 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 not Abba. I said, I said, I said, I said that I'm barred. Now one of the most famous sites around here, around uh, Kalani, is the Gap of Double O. It was an absolutely gorgeous little like ravine that was apparently carved out by a glacier like one year ago, straight out of a fairy tale. <laughs> That beautiful, magnificent. So one of the things I love about Ireland is you can just drive around and you can find ruins like this of old abbeys, priories, churches, cathedrals, whatever. I found this out today, the difference between a abbey and a priory is just size. A cathedral is to a church. Uh, what an abbey is to a priory. I'm in the middle of this, like, these ruins, right? And this dude's just farming his cows, like, right next to it. So what all these little holes here behind me are, this is where the uh, the priests would keep pigeons. And what they'd do is they'd take all the, the, the waste grain and they'd feed all the waste grain to their pigeons in here, and then they'd eat the pigeons. The pigeons were like a source of, of protein and food for the priests and stuff, and the monks, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, now they're taking us to, to meet another cousin. In turn, one of the young lads actually recognised me from TikTok. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Long lost family relative rocks up at this door, and it's this guy. 